What's going on, people? Welcome back to Teed Up here on Varsity Sports Network, where athletes get to come on to the network and share their story with the broad audience that we have in the state of Florida. Now, today, people, we have by far the most incredible story in this show's history. And I kid you not, it's amazing. When you think about someone overcoming adversity, who do you think of? When you think of somebody overcoming the odds beyond all measure, who do you think of? Well, for me, ever since I came across this amazing story, I think of defensive back Kimani Thomas out of Cardinal Gibbons High School in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. This young man discovered that he had a serious heart issue going into his ninth grade year, so a very young age. And this actually threatened his career, and he had to take some time off. But now, he is going into his senior year, and not only is he feeling better than ever, this young man is thriving. And hey, let's not waste any more time because I really want to get into this. I really want you guys to see this. But hey, get ready to hear Kimani Thomas and how he went from doctors telling him that he may never play football again to becoming a state champion. Let's tee him up. Okay, everybody. This is by far the most anticipated story of the short history of Teed Up. We are teeing up Kamani Thomas from Cardinal Gibbons High School out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And this guy has an amazing story, one of the most amazing stories I've ever heard. And I can't wait for the audience to hear everything that you have to say about the experiences that you've been through and overcoming all the adversity that you um, had in your life over the past few years. Man, how you doing, Kamani Thomas, cornerback, Carter Gibbons High School 2023. Sure, doing all right? Sure. That's cool, man. Hey, so, of course, man, the elephant in the room is the fact that you – um, you discovered that you had a heart issue, right? Yeah. You had a heart issue, and it got to the point to where you had doctors telling you that you would never step foot on the football field again. Your playing career was over, man, and you actually <laughs> overcame all that, and you found yourself in the state championship uh, with Cardinal Gibbons High School in 2022. Man, congratulations on that. Uh, you earned your ring. Y'all got y'all rings yet? Yeah, we did. Okay, okay. Hey, hey, blame, blame, man, blame. Hey, I don't know how it feels to win the state championship, man, especially in football, man. Hey, congratulations to that. But, man, you not only do you play football, but you're a multi-sport athlete. You run track and field. You're a real student. Uh, you got a 3.28 GPA, basically a 3.3. Hey, we round up over here, man. <laughs> hey, man, so you obviously get it done in the classroom, man. State champion. Y'all went 11-2 and two last year. Outstanding, man. So uh, could you tell the audience where you're originally from? Are you from Fort Lauderdale? Yeah, well, I'm from uh, Sunrise. It's like 10 minutes away from Fort Lauderdale. So, yeah, I run the same area. Yeah, yeah. I know exactly where it is. Yeah, uh, that's South Florida area. But, man, uh, could you tell me, man, um, when did you start playing football? Let's start there. Uh, so, I started playing football in third, third grade. But at first, it was flag football. It wasn't tackle. So my first time playing tackle was eighth grade on um, my security, my security guard from my middle school. He was a, uh, he was a head coach for uh, Plantation Wildcats. So he invited me to come over and that was my first, that was my first, yeah, that was my first year playing on uh, Little League. And after that, Little League, I got invited to play uh, with Cardinal Gibbons for my ninth grade year. And then going in my ninth grade year is when I found out about the heart surgery and all that. So it was going into the ninth grade year yeah, was when you grade. discovered. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. So, of course, um, I know you play defensive back. And, man, the thing that caught my attention uh, originally was that video that was surfacing and going around on Twitter 
of you at a football event locking guys up. You had those boys in the seat belt. I'm talking about a car seat. They couldn't go nowhere. They couldn't get any separation. I'm just like, man, this guy is sticky. He's a <laughs> sticky defensive back, man. But as far as defensive back, do you play more corner or do you play more safety or a little bit of both? And more corner. More corner? Okay. Hey, you're a real man-to-man corner then. Hey, man, that video, I'll, I'll be sure that the audience gets to see that clip, man. If you locking the guys up, man, that's going to be great for you. Get uh, some more exposure and everything. And that speaks to your talent and everything. But uh, could you tell me what event that was? It was a HBCU mega camp in Orlando. So they had a, a lot of good schools like, like Bethune Cookman, Edward mm-hmm. Water, and um, uh, FAMU was over there too. So it was a really good camp. That's awesome, man. Hey, good to see that you're back on the football field and you're ready to go and everything, man. You're <laughs> incredible story that you have. So let's go ahead and let's transition into, as I stated earlier, the elephant in the room, which is – the heart surgery that you had. Um, can you take us through, I know you said it was uh, going into your ninth grade year. Could you take us through uh, that experience of how you discovered it and how that was? Uh, so going into my ninth grade year, I had to get a, a sports physical to clear me for football, make sure I could play. So while I'll get in that physical, uh, I had to do an EKG is where it uh, scans your heart rate. Mm-hmm. So getting the heart rate, uh, the doctor found out that it had an abnormal coronary artery, which is which is sometimes it happens. You know, sometimes it don't, it's, it's normal. That's what she said. But she was like, just to make sure that it's OK, she wanted me to get a follow up with another doctor. So we went to that other doctor, did a, a scan for my heart. And then that's where she found out that I had an anomalous coronary artery. So my vein that pumps blood to my heart was in the wrong spot. And I couldn't play football again until I got that fixed. Wow. So you had a vein in the wrong spot. That is crazy. So, of course, that led to you getting or uh, having to get a heart surgery. So, uh, like, could you tell me the nature of the heart surgery? Was it just a surgery on your heart or did you actually get a heart transplant? Could you explain? Uh, uh, It was just a surgery on my heart. So the vein that was in the wrong spot, they had to, like, cut it. And then attach it to the to the right spot. So like it was on this side right here. So they had to cut it from right here and then bring it on this side. Okay. That's a massive difference. It was literally all the way on the opposite side of where it was supposed to be. That's crazy. That is insane, man. So of course, with you hearing all of these things that the doctors are saying that you might never play football again, you probably couldn't participate in sports again. Like, uh, could you tell me um, what was going through your head and how you handled what they were telling you? Like, were you always optimistic or did you or was there a little doubt that seeped in there? Uh, there was definitely a little doubt, you know, when you. When somebody tells you you can't do something that you love to get ever again, like, you know, when you put it in blood, sweat, and tears into that day, you know, it's kind of heartbreaking. But at the end of the day, I know God has a plan for me. You know, my parents were there for me. I had people bringing me up, telling me that everything was going to be okay. So I took what they said in account, and, you know, I believe that I'll step on the field again. Okay, so so you had faith that you'd actually yeah. play again. Right. So uh, and you had faith in the doctors and everything, the nurses. And from the videos that I've seen of you in the hospital and everything, it's obvious it's obvious that those nurses and those doctors really really cared for you and they cared about you. They were so nice. Uh, what hospital was that? It was uh, Shan's Hospital in Gainesville. Shane's Hospital. Okay, okay. If I'm not mistaken, that's uh, a part of the University of Florida, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. So UF Health. I got you. Got you. Yes, sir. Man, so that is incredible. Like, I remember you originally told me that you suffered an injury. And um, I was just like, okay, what could it be? And then uh, you eventually told me that it was heart um, yeah. a heart issue. And I was like, man, that's more than an injury. That's literally life altering, whether you play sports or not, you know, anything that has to do with the heart, you know, it can affect everything that you do in your daily life. And when I found that out, I was just like, oh my gosh. And this guy is actually back on the field. Like, um, I know that this was a very difficult time for you, but um, like in your 
uh, recovery process. Could you tell me how you uh, trained and prepared to get back on the field or back on the track? Uh, so to get back, I had to start off with, so first, like the first week out the hospital, I couldn't walk straight. So after that first week, I had to learn how to walk again correctly. So, you know, I started uh, taking like step by step. I was holding on to my parents and they're helping mm -hmm. me walk down the stairs and all that. And then after that, we started, after I was good with walking, I started doing some light jogs around the complex, around the neighborhood because my, because of the heart surgery, I was breathing through a tube. It wasn't my, through my nose. So like my breathing was a little off. So in order to do that, I had to do some light jogs, running the treadmill. Then after that, I started lifting like some little, you know, like some little five pound dumbbells to just get my body back in shape. That's cool, man. So, so like, when did you finally realize okay, I'm back, baby. I'm ready to get back on the field. Was there a, a point in time that you actually uh, remember or you were just like, hey, I'm ready. I'm ready to play. Let's go. It's just as soon as I stepped on that field, you know, it was like when, like when I was off the field, it's like a part, like I forgot who I was a little bit because, you know, I've been playing football for so long, you know, it became a part of me. Mm -hmm. But as soon as I stepped foot back on that grass, like, I'm here. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> how long did it take for you to actually run again? I know it took some time for you to uh, learn back how to walk, but I can only imagine how long it actually took for you to uh, learn to run again. Run, it took three, three months. Three months. Yeah. And for running full speed, it took like three and a half, too. So I, I couldn't run full speed at all. It was just like light little jog. Man, that is incredible, man. That I can't even describe or I can't understand how it feels to go through something like that you know being a part of a sport that you love and like you said it became a part of you and you lost who you were but you managed to find your way back oh I think we lost you yep oh there we go yeah you managed to find your way back and everything and that says a lot about you man shout out to the doctors at UF Health Shout out to your parents for being there with you, man. But most of all, shout out to yourself, man. This is incredible. Like, I, I'm pretty sure that a lot of kids don't get to come back from something like this, man. But it just shows how hard you've worked to get back there. And it shows how much you love the game. And I'm so proud of you for that. I couldn't be more happy for you, man. Congratulations, man. And so, like, throughout this time, like, um, I know you mentioned your parents. But do you have anybody else that you'd like the audience to know who your biggest supporters were during that time? Uh, definitely my coaches and my friends, besides my parents. Yeah, my coaches and my friends. You know, every day they're checking up on me, make sure I'm straight, asking me if I need any help with homework, if I need anybody to talk to. So they really helped me get through that. Man, that is incredible, man. I love that. And you went from that to becoming a state champion. Sure. And then not too long after, you recently just received your first offer, right? To, if I'm not correct, it's um, Allen University in Columbia, right? Uh, Columbia, South Carolina? Yeah. Man, that's crazy. Got an offer after heart surgery, uh, only a few years removed from heart surgery, and you got Thank college you. offers. Man, that is, ah, man, you're doing the thing out here. I love it, man. <laughs> This, this is incredible. I can't overstate this enough, man. And and you're still a student, man. You get, uh you got good grades, and not only were you able to step back on the field, but you're good. You're an athlete, real athlete. And then you got speed too. You're running track. Speaking of track, what uh, what events do you run in track? On uh, track, I run the 100, 300, 200, 400. I, I do it all. So. Every day. You're just a runner. <laughs> just a runner. <laughs> That's good, man. That's real good, man. I love that. So, of course, you guys um, at Cardinal Gibbons had a successful season last year and everything. Um, and I know you're going into your senior year. So this, year, uh, this will be your last year playing college. I mean, high school football. What are you going to take into this year that you learned from last year, whether it's, you know, with the team or uh, just something that you're going to do on your own, stuff that you learned on your own that you're going to take into the next season? Uh, something I'm going to definitely take into next season is execution and intensity. You know, from last season, all, all of us were executing in every position, you know, in the boat it was in the weight room, in the at home, in school. You know, we we're all doing everything that we had to get done. So that's definitely one thing I'm going to take into the next season. Man, that is great, man. Love to hear that. So 
Of course, uh, man, I got to ask this. I always have to ask this. <laughs> well, at least if I remember to ask this. Um, can you take me through what a game week looks like for Kamani? How do you prepare? Take me from Monday all the way to Friday. What are you doing to prepare for a game? Uh, so Monday through Friday, what I'm doing is I'm drinking water, drinking a lot of water because, you know, you want to stay hydrated because you still got practice from Monday through Thursday then the big game Friday. You know, you don't want to be in the game, you know, saying, coach, I can't do this. I need water. So one thing I'm doing is hydrating. Next thing is eating. You know, make sure I get four, three to four meals in every single day. You know, protein on the side. I want to make sure your body is, you know, has the right protein to do what you need to do. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing I do is uh, my focus on my schoolwork, too. Because, you know, it, you can't focus through practice in a big game if you got other work on the side that you got to worry about. You know, I got to, like, turn this work in. I got to worry about my grade for that teacher. So the three things that I do. That's good, man. That's real good, man. So do you feel like you you're back 100 percent? Do you feel like you're fully recovered or do you still experience some issues uh, from your heart issue or do you uh, just feel fine? I feel normal. Yeah, back 100 percent. Man, that's good, man. So like before you knew, did you ever uh, think that you had any heart trouble or anything or you still felt normal? The thing, the crazy thing about it is that I had no uh, symptoms. Wow. So, yeah, I had no idea that I had it. I, I was asymptomatic, so there was no symptoms that said that I had that. So. That's insane. And you just so happened to have to get a physical and found out that way. Man, that's a, that's a true blessing right there. You caught it early because, I mean, something like that can cause trouble down the line. But yep. you got that. Yeah, you were able to get that fixed early on in ninth grade. Man, good job with that, man. I love it. So, um, of course, another thing I got to ask, man, um, I'm not sure if you actually watch football or anything, but like, do you have a favorite athlete that you like to watch or an athlete that you look up to or kind of mold your game after? Because this is it's a lot of good cornerbacks out there and it's a lot of good cornerbacks out there from Florida, man. Uh, for me, it's Jalen Ramsey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jaylen, I love me some Jalen Ramsey, man. That's a, he's a true shutdown corner, true lockdown corner. Man, I already know, man. Hey, man, that is just an incredible story. Like, I, I couldn't believe it when I heard it, man. And I'm just so proud of you, man. Once again, shout out to your parents, man. It's like, I can't imagine what they were going through while you were going through this. I mean, because, like, you know, it's their child, man. And, man... It just goes to show how good of uh, parents that they are. They were there for you. They were on your side. And even in the videos that you sent me, you know, I could tell, like, they care. You know, it's just something. They wanted you to get through this. They saw you in that bed. And, you know, you uh, probably didn't look like yourself. You know what I'm saying? You know, you had the wires and the tubes and everything yes. everywhere, man. I was just like, gosh, this guy has really come a long way. And not only... Did you come a long way, man? But you won a state title. You got an offer, and I'm I'm fairly sure you're gonna get more offers coming in. Yeah, man, it's you're gonna come in. <laughs> I already know, man. Especially once you step back on that field and showcase your ability in your senior year highlights, man. But hey, make sure that you get your school to sign up for Varsity Sports Network Media Days that we have coming up in just about a month. We will be traveling to 16 different markets across the entire state. And I would love to see you and your team there showcasing who you guys are and everything. So make sure you get with your coach and everything to make sure that the school gets signed up and that we have all the information that we need for you guys. And if you have any questions about the Media Days, feel free to reach out to me. Feel free to have your coach reach out to me. I will get them all the information that they need because spots are filling fast and we want everybody to be there. All right. Definitely will. Definitely will. Hey man, thank you so much for hopping on this with me. I can't, I'm pretty sure we'll talk again. I will be keeping up and everything, man. Hey, shout out to Kamani, G, uh, Kamani Thomas, defensive back, Cardinal Gibbons High School, man. Hey, thank you so much. You have a good rest of the day. You have a good rest of the summer, man. Train hard, work hard, keep drinking that water. Hey, man, I'll be looking out for you, okay, man? Thank you.
Thank you so much, everybody. That is Kimani Thomas class of 2023, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> I told you I was not playing when I said this was an incredible story. I can't begin to imagine and understand what he went through at such a young age and being taken out of the sport or the sports that he loves and that he loves to be a part of and it's it's an incredible story and I'm so happy for him I'm so proud of him and he's going to do great things I can't wait to see what he does going into his senior year hey and congratulations Kamani on the offer to Allen University out there in Columbia South Carolina and like we said we're pretty sure that he's going to get tons of more offers. I'm so excited for him. So happy for him. Shout out to his parents for being there with him. And shout out to him himself for being so mentally tough and being able to get back on the football field and back onto the track. But hey, people, that is it for this episode. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure that if you know any athlete out there who you think should be featured here on Teed Up, reach out to me and guess what? We'll tee them up, all right? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to catch Varsity Sports Media Days later on this July. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Get your school signed up. We want to see every school there, every football team in the state of Florida. We want to see them there during our media days. Thank you, everyone. I will see you guys next week.